Hi everyone, I have something special, something special for you today. Today we, we will be talking with Candace Langham from Fishers, Indiana. She owns Cleaning Tech Pros Cleaning Services and is just about to graduate from the Drop the Mop Scale Accelerator and move on to join the Sisters Mastermind next month. So I wanted to have Candace on today because she's having some pretty remarkable results while in the program and I thought it would be awesome to share her story. So welcome, Candace. Thanks for being on here. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so why don't you tell us a little bit about your business, why you founded it and, and what made you start your company? Um. So I started my company really as a way to get out of depression because cleaning is very therapeutic for me and it just brought a lot of structure and I really, that's really the reason why I wanted to help people and I wanted to help other women like myself find structure and get out of depression too. So I started Cleaning Tech Pros. And I think that a lot of women can resonate with that. So, you know, thank you for, for sharing that. I know myself, um, when I have a clean house, I feel less stress. So I think it's very similar for a lot of us, right? Mm -hmm. um, so when did you decide to seek out coaching for your cleaning business? Um, so I started the business, like, I think it was officially, I had it going for a year. And mm -hmm. I had a goal in mind to reach like the 10k mark, my monthly. And once I reached that, I, I wanted to hire a coach. So okay. that was so that was like the pinnacle. Once you, you know, hit that like mark, that's when you wanted to do it. Okay. Yeah. Well, so how was business going before you decided to seek support and join the program? And what would you say your biggest obstacles were? Um, before I kind of like get all stressed to think about it before it was just a mess, to be honest. Like I didn't have a structure. I didn't really have systems in place or processes. So uh, I was just kind of winging it and I knew that. So I really wanted to get information from somebody who had been there, done that. Cause I didn't want to learn it the hard way. Like I was ready to learn it the right way. So, so do you mean like trouble, like help with hiring? Yeah. Um, uh, like having um, like my quality of work, all of that stuff in check checklists, um, just structurally. Yeah. So, and then sales. Too, so and sales too. Yep. Okay. So you've only been in the program a little over six months now. What would you say your experience has been so far? Like, what do you like about it? Oh, I feel uh, way more confident. I have, I feel like I can, I just, I have more to offer my clients, but also more structure and boundaries. So that's huge for me. Boundaries. You touched on a word boundaries. A lot of women don't, we don't have boundaries, right? So as when you own a cleaning business, you automatically have a servant's heart and you want to help everyone. So sometimes you let the boundaries there. There's a gray area with the boundaries, right? Wouldn't you agree? Yes. Agree. That's how it was for me. Totally. So totally. Sure. yeah, you've made a lot of changes in that, in yeah. that with your confidence and everything like, like a massive amount um, so what would you say, what major changes has the program helped you make? Um, with my confidence and then, um, like, I guess the biggest example would be like late fees and, you know, charging what I'm worth and, um, making oh. adjustments. Yeah. And so I know we were talking earlier and you had said that, um, you now have less clients, but you're making more profit. Explain to me a little bit about that. Yeah. So we, when we did the whole price increase or the rate increase, and I was able to sift through and filter out the, the accounts or clients who weren't making me money and the ones who were, I actually got rid of a lot of clients, but then I increased my um, revenue at the same time. So I actually have less clients but make more money. So that feels really, really good. <laughs> so your face is beaming when you say that. Did you get rid of maybe some clients that were not so nice? Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Now I have like eight clients who I actually like, I love to go and see and clean and it's not stressful in their homes at all. And that, that to me is huge. So 
Yeah. I mean, there is, you know, not every client's created the same, like there can be some really nasty clients out there. And, you know, that's one of the things I try and do is show you that your schedule doesn't have to be filled with nasty people. And usually the people that are really picky or, you know, not too nice are the ones that are making you the least amount of money. So, you know, we did a pricing audit um, with, with Candace's clients to see who was, who was profitable, who wasn't. And I feel like most of the clients that you didn't like cleaning weren't making you any profit. Yeah, exactly. Every single one. <laughs> so it's crazy like that. Yeah. So, so it's less stressful, more money. We like that. <laughs> so who do you think would benefit from enrolling in the drop them up and scale accelerator with me? Everybody. <laughs> well, that's nice of you. <laughs> is looking to grow or looking to lead their teams and techs and looking to grow their business. And yeah, for sure. Oh, cool. Well, I appreciate that. Do you have any um, advice for any maid service owners who are struggling um, and thinking about getting help, but maybe on the fence? Uh, just do it. Like, for sure, just do it. The peace of mind that's come from having somebody who can hold me accountable and guide me along knowing they've been through it too has been huge. Like the peace of mind to know that I'm running this, you know, how I needs to be run is just, it's totally worth it every penny. So, and so you just recently had a couple instances in your family where you were able to leave the business, right? And yeah. Your business still ran. Yeah, even so, even through the whole course, like I went on vacation, I had a lot of family things happen. We had a lot of the holidays. So while we were going through all of the holidays and family and vacation, we restructured. So in the process of all of that, I was able to sift through my clients, lower my client accounts, but at the same time, raise my revenue. So, but I think in the, while you're in the program, you trained your staff to work without you. And that's probably one of the biggest things that happens is when you let go of that control. Cause I think in the beginning, you're so used to, you know, your houses need to be cleaned my way, or it's not going to be right. And I think you learned how to train them to clean them in a certain way. So you could actually, you know, step out and leave. Yeah, that was huge. I wouldn't have been able to go see my family and still have income coming in when I had a, mer a medical emergency if I didn't have those processes in place. So they were able to manage the whole thing for over a week while I was out. That's pretty amazing. And the thing of it is, is that, you know, business owners go into business to have a life and to have the freedom. And sometimes we get caught up in having to be there 24 seven. And that's not what each and every one of us intended to do. So that makes me so happy that you were able to do that. I was, I was excited when you went on vacation for a week and yeah. your, your business ran without you. So congratulations on that. Like you should be really, really proud of yourself. I know you don't like to take that, but you should be really, really proud of yourself. Thank you. Appreciate you know? So now once, you know, once you're in the mastermind, now we're going to, you know, what would you like to do with your revenue? Would you like to double it or is that too scary? No, I want to double it. I'm, I'm double. I'm All so right. ready to do it. 100%. So now, now with all the systems in place, now you can double it. Yeah, absolutely. Is everything working? Um, a lot more confident. Yay. So. Well, thank you so much for coming on uh, and talking to everyone. I think sometimes, you know, people need to hear other people's stories. Um, and so it doesn't, so it's not so as scary, right? For making the jump, making the jump. Well, thank you so much. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. You're welcome. All right.